On May 19, 2020, Rwanda launched the use of five high-tech robots to fight COVID-19. These robots were donated by the United Nations Development UNDP Rwanda. We agreed to support um, the, the ministry. We signed an agreement between UNDP and the ministry. The minister and I signed an agreement and uh, we provided the funding for this. And so it's been a few weeks. Uh, the, the major challenge we had was getting the robots to Rwanda because of the lockdown in many countries. But eventually, with a lot of support from the minister herself and from Rwandair um, and the Zora robots team, we are able to get the robots in. The robots have the capacity to screen 50 to 150 people per minute, deliver food and medication to patient rooms, capture data and notify officers on duty about detected abnormalities. Resident representative of UNDP Rwanda. The smart mobile robots also have functions like facial recognition, temperature screening, monitoring patient status, and keep medical records of the patients. The Ministry of Health says the use of robots in fighting against COVID 19 we help doctors and nurses in reducing their contact with COVID-19 patients and minimizing their risk of infection with the deadly virus. I think they will help, especially uh, health professionals who are here, uh, in taking some of their duties and therefore being less exposed to, to be infected by COVID patients uh, who are here. Um, there is a lot to do here in a, in, a, in a treatment center because you need to provide drugs, you need to collect uh, vital signs, you need to provide food, meals, etc. So if some tasks can be uh, under responsibility of these robots, I think medical staff will be employed for the rest of activities and perform it very well because they will be discharged for a lot of activities currently they are doing. But it will be under responsibility of robots. We just need to, to set the program and they will do it. The Grand Ministry of ICT and Innovation says this donation from the UNDP technically has another impact, which is to encourage youth to think big of innovation solutions that can bring in times of global emergency. So yes, we have a local subsidiary, Zora Robots Rwanda. Uh, it's led by two uh, uh, Rwandan technicians. They have, uh, they, they have a team that is dealing on the maintenance part for these robots when it's needed. But they have a larger team that is going to um, you know, put in place the robotics academy where we we're really looking to expose the younger children to robotics and get them excited about it uh, as we build, uh, you know, more skills in the STEM fields uh, for, for, for the country. The robots have been given grand names Akazuba, meaning sun in English, Ichizele, meaning hope, Mngiza, meaning beautiful, Ngabo, meaning shield, and Urumuri, meaning light.